My name is Robin Feldman. Uh, I currently work for the National Association for Gifted Children. Well, I have to say it was one of the first years that I was here. We were using a different system. It wasn't great at um, finding scheduling conflicts. It was, it was not a good situation. Luckily, our presenters were flexible, um, and some of them ended up just co-presenting if I booked them in the same room at the same time, when they shouldn't have been. <laughs> um, so things like that did happen. Um, there's just, there's so much information. We, we have like over 300 concurrent sessions um, during the convention, and it's just, something is bound to go wrong. They're with me on site, the, the folks that are, um, who work directly with me on logistics. And so we're both, we're, we're working as a team, to, again, to try to find, is there an open room? Was there, you know, a presentation that was canceled? Um, you know, perhaps we can put the speaker in that room, or was this presentation really supposed to go in this room? Is it 326 or 362? You know, is that what happened? So, you know, it's, it's definitely teamwork. Luckily, you know, I haven't been alone on those problems. Sometimes the wow is uh, a great presenter, you know, someone that they've really been looking forward to see. Um, we were able to get um, a speaker, uh, a children's, well, actually a middle grades writer, John Green, who's very popular now and has movies out um, based on his books. And it was just, you know, by chance and by knowing the right people that we got him for free. And so that was a wow. You know, that was, yeah, that was really a wow. So I think it's been mostly um, our connection, being able to have good connections to get some great speakers that um, you would normally either have to pay a lot for or you know you wouldn't even have any kind of way of reaching them. The other wow I think too is um, allowing them to get it, a, lot of, a lot of information before they get on site to the convention. We've seen more and more of our attendees using that and making all of their plans before they get to convention and downloading handouts that they need. So they so appreciate that because there's a lot less scrambling on site. I saw that when I first got here. Attendees would sit down with their program books and just you know try to read as fast as they could and circle sessions, you know, and um, figure out with their colleagues who should go to what. But they can do all of that before they get there um, and be much calmer about it. Once we finish, actually even before we finish um, our annual convention, we're planning the next one. So um, we've even, even, you know, six months prior, we're planning the next one. So when, when we're at convention, you know, we're we're looking at the past, we're, we're in the present, and then we're talking about the future. You know, we start having meetings, um, you know, sometimes two, three months prior to convention, and we're going over every single detail and, um, you know, figuring out what's, you know, what might not work, um, you know, just the flow of the whole event and every person on staff has different needs because they each wear different hats too. So it's, it's a lot of pieces to pull together. Um, I wish I could do everything 100% well. <laughs> it's just not possible. But, um, but in the end, it's all, you know, it's all good. It's all positive. And as long as attendees don't see things that are, might be stressful behind the scenes, then that's great. We just don't want them to experience it.